hello hi sir uh, yeah so anything you try hello sir yeah, hi uh, yes yeah. so any difficulties in importing the uh, uh, from this pixel mega scan Uh, sir, I can't able to hear you properly. Uh, any difficulties you have uh, from importing the Quixel Mega Scan? No, sir, nothing, nothing. Nothing, no. Yeah. So you are able to uh, import the element from Mega Scan and put inside Unreal? Yeah, sir. Yeah, I did uh, simple simple scene. Okay. Yeah. By uh, after the after by end uh, after uh, um, by end of today, I will show you. Sir. Yeah, sure, sir. Special. Yeah. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, I couldn't able to do anything today. Okay. Uh, by the next class, I'll try to show something regarding uh, pixels, squares, uh, mega scans, and stuff. Okay. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so today we'll be starting another session for the material. Uh, so if you just show the slides. Okay. Yes. So how we can add certain materials inside this? So this is what the topic which we'll be covering today. Uh, how to create the new material, uh, how to add the nodes, uh, how to uh, work on the PBR materials over here. So we'll be seeing all these things uh, in today's session. Uh, so I will just create the same uh, scene, whatever we had. So inside the same scene, what I'll be doing it over here is I'll be just adding uh, uh, the materials or I'll be creating the new material and I'll be starting uh, over here. So let's create some kind of object. To understand uh, the material then I'll be adding some material PBR material for the ground as well so to understand that let's add some kind of 3d cube or sphere so I'll just add this sphere over here and we'll just start adding certain material uh, for this uh, to create certain material I go to this material option and here uh, so there are different materials but if you want to create your own material what you can do is you can just right click and here you have different option for creating so i can just create a material option over here so you can just see that so if i click on this material it will create a material for me so what is this kind of material so you just name it as m underscore uh, my material so i'll just name it as my material uh, you can name it uh, whatever the material you are creating if you are creating as wood uh, name it as m, m underscore wood so now i just created uh, so whenever you create any of the material uh, you always start working on the instance of that material i will be not working on this master material so right click and here you can just see that you can just click on this create material instance so I'll be working on this uh, so uh, it won't uh, disturb that original material. So click on this and here it is M I. So M I is for instance and this is my mat. So whatever the material I'm creating and you can just apply the material over here. Uh, you can just uh, left click drag and drop on the top of this. So I just apply the material to this now. So there is nothing inside this material right now. So double click on this. And when you double click on this, it will go to this editor over here. So this is what we can just see that how that particular material will look. Uh, and we also have certain HDRI environment uh, to see the material, how it is going to look inside this particular uh, scene. So once you create this material over here, now you want to add some kind of color to it or you want to tweak some kind of shininess to it. So it, it doesn't have anything right now. So to add the material, you just double click on this. And once you double click on this, we get this kind of uh, nodes. Uh, we, here we call it as node and now you can just see that by default it is having this kind of uh, material over here. So uh, now to add any kind of color to this so here we can just see that there is something uh, which you can uh, pull it out so some kind of pipe which we need to connect it to the color node okay so if i just left click and drag it and leave the left click over here it will open all this option for me okay so there are lots of options so first thing what we will just see it we can just see this constant and if i just see this first constant so if i just click on this 
okay so this works on uh, 0 to 1 value over here so if it is 0 it will be black so if it is 1 so I'll just make it as 1 so it uh, takes time to upload the shader uh, uh, over here and it becomes red in color so that constant will define that particular color over here but we want RGB color so 0 to 1 is going only going to give me this uh, black and white uh, value uh, so if you want to disconnect this node alt and click so it will disconnect that node so i just don't need this constant so what i'll do is again click on this base color leave it again go to the constant this time we have this uh, constant vector over here so these are the three uh, constant which you can see it if i just go to this constant vector 2 so here we will get only two colors you can see that there is a red and there is also green so if you want to adjust anything over here it is either going to uh, give the mix of both of this color so now it is red so when I make it one it becomes red color if I adjust this so it will give me the mix of uh, both this red and green color over here so when I add that over here so we are getting this particular color when I add this so these are going to give me two colors so, but we want like rgb uh, over here so we go to constant and go for this constant three vector and if you want some kind of alpha channel also inside this i'll be going for this constant four vector so let's go for this constant three and now we can just see that we have this rgb and we also have this constant color over here so if i click on this now it is easy for me to select whichever the color i want to use it let's use this little bit of over here and press ok and I'm going to get uh, that particular color uh, once it's update over there so it has not changed so if I just want to change it let's change it over here so uh, this RGB values when I change I can just see that the change will happen inside this color also so let's try this now Uh, so we can also drag and drop any of the color from here and you can just try uh, saving it we can just see that okay. so press ok and then it uploads uh, whatever the material is there it is going to update over here so this is the base color so that is the uh, color of that particular material over here so uh, now if you want to see that how it is applied over here you need to click on this apply so it is going to apply to the scene save that scene again so I want to see that uh, inside my uh, real world how it looks close this and this is what it looks like now so again I'll just close it save it and close and this is what we get this material right now uh, you can see that we are working on this instance material and our uh, whatever the material is there it is also getting updated because it is an instance of this master material uh, so uh, we have this so we need to make sure that we just you work on this instance now I double click again double click and now we are again inside this graph node so there are different properties for the material right uh, so if it is a metallic material uh, like uh, something like metal object you are creating so that is the property of this over here so if you want to change and check this I'll just click it and this time I'll just use this called constant I just want to adjust between this value so this constant value is zero now so it is doesn't have any kind of effect on this object if the constant value is one now you see that what will happen for this uh, it gives that metallic uh, feel for that object previously it was looking like plastic and now it looks like some kind of metal uh, uh, metallic material has been applied for this so if it is point if it is zero you see the difference it looks more like plastic if it is one it gives this more metallic feel for this object so metallic value will determine how we want that uh, metallicness for this object you can just have this so we can add a different constant like this so same way we can just add a different constant over here so if I just uh, add one more 
uh, constant uh, inside the specular so go to this option click it and go to the constant and again i'll just go for uh, this constant so this is the specular value of the material uh, so which i'll be adjusting so now it is zero if i increase it to one So it updates over here so that is the highlight so how much highlight you want for that object the specularity will determine that highlight uh, of that object over here so how much it should be shining uh, that will be determined by this specular uh, value of it and uh, we also have this roughness so roughness will determine how much reflective that particular object is so if you adjust the roughness now the object is not much reflective so if you are creating a steel material or if you are creating a gold material uh, inside this so you need to make sure that you adjust this the roughness value play a major role when you are creating that kind of uh, object over here so whether it is a totally shiny material or whether it is a totally matte material uh, so when you adjust this roughness depending on that uh, we can uh, see that how this material will change again go to the roughness left click go to the constant I'll just use this constant again see that's uh, so when the roughness is zero uh, we will we are going to get this kind of chrome material so which is very shiny and very reflective material over here okay so when you want to create a very shiny object uh, you can just make this roughness to totally zero uh, let's see this color and I just want to make it little bit of more of this kind of color over here press ok and let's see this what color we get so I get this one over here ok so inside this uh, if I just go to this roughness now so if I just click on this roughness and if I increase the value of this roughness to 0.7 or something so you will see that the uh, whatever the reflection is there it is going to get blur uh, so if it is like 0.3 so if it is totally zero you will get totally uh, much reflection but if it is like this you will get this blurry reflection as it is going uh, the reflection is going to get go down uh, so if it is zero not minus let's make it zero we get totally shiny material okay so we can control how the material looks into the scene uh, over here by adjusting this constant value over here okay. uh, if it is one so we are going to get a totally matte material which is not very shiny material so if you are creating some kind of wall uh, or some kind of uh, uh, what is that uh, rock uh, which uh, on which uh, there is no not no such kind of reflection uh, or uh, specular highlight uh, it will be totally matte material so or sand when we are creating we will uh, we want this kind of uh, things over here so uh, we will be adjusting this material uh, using this constant value so let's make this totally zero so I want to see that how uh, this material looks into my s real scene so apply save that file so whatever you do the changes you need to apply and save it so uh, it will update uh, into my Unreal Engine and we can just see that it has changed that material close this and we have this is the material which I have save it and this is what we get the material so uh, it is very reflective material so if I just want to place it up so we can just see that how much reflective this material is now Uh, so any of the material which you want to create uh, you can just directly create it over here so if I again you just double click you want to do some kind of changes over here uh, we can change so double click on this and we have this different material and to edit this material again you have to go to this parent material and double click on that particular material okay so whatever this uh, attributes are there over here so what we are doing it over here is so every time uh, we are making this attribute we have to come to the node and we have to edit it 
uh, what if if you create uh, this as an attribute for the material itself uh, instead of coming and clicking it over here if i just create some attribute for this node to create that you can just right click on this and convert that to parameter so what it will do is it will create uh, the material parameters for us so if i click on that and name is as base color or just name it as color base color this attribute i want to change it again right click convert to parameter and name it as metallic so i'll tell you what i'm doing uh, over here so right click convert to parameter this is specular and i'm converting all these nodes into certain parameters over here so again convert this is as roughness So once I done, uh, let's apply. Save that. Now let's close this. And here, uh, you can just see that when I created the parameter over here, uh, you can just see that it is off now. So uh, this is what I have created. So I don't have to go to again to the node base and adjust the values. So now I can adjust the values over here inside this my attribute editor over here. So if I click on the base color, click on specular, click on roughness, click on this. Okay. So if I adjust these values over here directly, I can just change it. Just adjust this metallic value. I can just change it. You want to change the color, click on this. Just change it. That's okay save that value and close it okay so uh, what i am doing it over here is whatever the attributes were there i just converted into uh, uh, this kind of attributes over here that's what we convert it as a parameter so any of the things you want to change it you don't have to double click on this and then you have to go to the node and then you want to change that so once you convert this attributes over here it is easy for us to adjust this parameters here itself so you can just see that so i don't like this color quickly come to this i want like this, this particular color over here that's okay and we are done with this so if you just want to make it white or gray color more white that's okay and, and save this again close it again and we have this nice shiny or reflective surface over here okay so this is how any of this material you want to create over here so we are just uh, creating the material now now we will just see how we can just add some kind of texture also to this uh, so what i'll do is i'll just create some material and i just want to add some kind of grass to this uh, object over here so let's delete this and let's start creating some new material right click again create some new material over here and name this as m underscore grass so i just name that m underscore and our grass and right click again work on the instance so mi underscore And I'll be working on that uh, material now. So this is what I want to work. So first you just select this and drag and drop into this. So we just have applied this material now. So now what I want to do uh, it over here is I just want to apply some kind of grass uh, material for this. So let's double click on this. Double click on this. So we can just see uh, this is the material which we have. Again double click. Yeah. So now I need to find the texture of the grass. Uh, so I can just click on this textures. So as I click on this texture, we have uh, so many textures which we have it over here. Suppose left click and drag and drop this texture over here. Okay, so this is the grass map or uh, the texture what we have it over here. So if you want to connect this texture to this uh, base color. So you can just connect left click over here, hold left click 
and uh, when you move to this point when it turns into highlighted leave the left click and it will apply that particular map over here so let's see this how it looks so we have applied the map and it is very shiny uh, so I don't want this shyness uh, for this particular map over here so to reduce this shyness uh, you can also add some kind of specular or roughness value uh, to make it zero so let's see that how how this particular material looks uh, applied okay so once i'll just apply i'll just save this material let's close and this is how it should uh, look inside the scene close it and we have this uh, but we can just see this this texture is looking little bit of more uh, pixelated and it looks like little bit of more big so what we have to do is uh, it looks in a very stretched over here so we need to make sure that we increase the repetition of the texture so what is happening or over here now is uh, whatever the texture is it is trying to cover this whole region uh, and it is making more uh, big now so it looks like uh, very stretched material now so what I can do it over here is I, I just need to change this uh, material uh, properly so click on this double click on this uh, material again double click over here and I need to increase the tiling or repetition of this texture so I want the same texture to be repeated again and again so to do that uh, I need to add one more node over here so right click uh, you can also add this called texture coordinate so you can just type uh, texture coordinate so this is what we have this material uh, this is the node uh, which will repeat the same texture again and again you can just see that you can just see that it is u tiling and v tiling so what it will do is it will uh, make the repetition in x axis and y axis uh, over here so if I just connect this to this UV and if we want to make this like around 10 by 10 so what will happen over here is it is going to repeat the texture 10 times uh, over here so we can just see that 10 times in x axis 10 times in y axis uh, apply this now see that it has repeated the texture alt and click this was before and if I just connect this again this is after uh, repeating the texture so I am repeating the same texture along x and y axis so uh, it looks little bit of smaller in size so apply and save it let's close this save it again close it and now we can just see that the, so this texture is much repeated and uh, it looks much clear over here so this is what we are uh, getting this texture now so now it is not looking like stretched it is uh, much clear so if you want to repeat it more I can still repeat it more that particular texture over here so again double click on this and I can repeat the texture over here so uh, again double click click on this coordinate and instead of adjusting these two uh, tilings over here suppose if you just want to add uh, only uh, one uh, attribute over here we can also add some kind of constant uh, over here uh, instead of uh, using this so make this one now this also one now it is so what I will do is I will just add one more constant value uh, right click go to the constant click on this constant value and what I will do is I will just uh, uh, um, blend this two of the nodes to one more node called uh, multiply so what will happen over here is uh, with the help of this particular attribute only we will be able to control this so right click and here if you just try type multiply uh, math over here so we can just see that we get A and B so I will just connect this A to A and this b to b and this to this so now you see what happens over here uh, so we have this single attribute uh, over here so if I just click on this and uh, we can just see that we have this certain value which is over here 0 so if I just increase that value
so this uh, so this is what it is repeating the uh, texture now when it is zero there is no texture and uh, when it if i just make it around 10 so it uh, gives the more texture error. so what is happening is instead of adjusting this uh, two values over here adjusting in u and again adjusting in v value what we are doing it over here is we are just using this attribute and controlling both uvs so both the uvs are repeating at once over here by just adding this value and what will happen over here is it will go to this multiply node uh, and it will uh, give me that output of the repetition uh, over here 10 times so if you want 50 times click it over here type it 50 and i can just see that it repeats uh, 50 times and the texture will be much more smaller in size uh, in this case and now it is small click and save this again let's save this close this again save this and again close this and now we can just see that so we are getting much better texture uh, so it was not it is not stretched now so we can just see that so if you feel that it is too small and you want to adjust anything on the texture we can always adjust it uh, so if it is like if it is looking too shiny now so we need to reduce this uh, shininess over here so what we'll do is we'll just add the roughness value to it so double click and here we have something called roughness so click on that leave it go to the constant click on the constant value and make the roughness to 1 so if i just make the roughness to 1 now uh, now you will not see any kind of shininess over here so it is very flat you won't see any kind of uh, shininess or highlights in the surface so this is what we have done uh, again uh, we can just convert this attribute or whatever this parameter into uh, into a parameters this node so right click convert to parameter name it as roughness this is what it is there so roughness we have adjusted now and then apply and save that So once we do that, I'll just close this again. I'll just save it over here. Again, uh, close this and we have this. So now we won't see any kind of shininess uh, on this or specular highlights on the top of this. So it is just a flat grass uh, over here. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, we can create any of the material over here. So now using the same material uh, elements, right? So I'll just duplicate this. And I'll go to this uh, site uh, over here called uh, pbrrender.com. So if I just go to this uh, site, uh, uh, let's go for PBR material, free PBR material resources. So uh, here we can find uh, different types of uh, PBR material. So uh, which is like uh, which which is like photorealistic material. So if I just click on that. Uh, suppose if you are working on the ground so click on this ground material and here we can just see that there are different materials which we have it over here so if i click on any one of this sorry. okay so here we can see there are uh, that that materials or that texture is for uh, unreal engine that is for uh, unity and for the blender uh, if you want to create your own textures there are different software like substance painter uh, and uh, uh, di blender also we can just create this different kind of or substance designer is there uh, which you can create your own uh, textures but if you want to get that already which is uh, there uh, so we can also get from this uh, textures so i just need to download this uh, once i download that texture i will have that texture uh, into my this folder so i just have the downloaded uh, texture and here we have different types of texture so this is the albedo albedo is nothing that but the base uh, texture base color for my object and uh, this is what that texture is it doesn't have any information of uh, reflection uh, it is just have the color information inside it so albedo contains the color information of that particular texture inside it 
so here we also have ambient occlusion so uh, this texture will contain this kind of uh, shadow information over here this is what the soft shadows what we can see it over here so this information will be stored inside this uh, ambient occlusion so uh, when you are creating the map so it doesn't look flat you can just see this kind of shadow will be uh, created uh, inside this so this is another map which we have uh, we also have this height map uh, so this is nothing but the displacement map uh, which we have it over here so which will give a uh, nice uh, depth inside the textures over here so like this we have different types of map for this there is no nothing this object is not having any kind of metallicness over here so it is totally black uh, though it has created the map but it is totally black so it doesn't affect anything into my scene and the last map is normal so if I just click on this this is the normal map uh, which shows uh, this uh, which stores the light information inside it so this map is also important when you are creating the light so uh, over here it shows the depth uh, inside this so these are the different types of map uh, called PBR map and this is what I need to bring it into my uh, uh, Unreal Engine so uh, for creating this map to bring that uh, I can just directly drag and drop that map uh, into this so let's select this maps and all this map I'll just drag and drop it over here so I'm just importing that map press ok let's go and check this So if I just want to lift this up a little bit and check it over here, this one. So here we'll find that map. So it is named as, so here we have. So all these maps are over here. Uh, so what I want to do it over here is I just need to connect that map uh, into this proper places. So delete this option, delete all this. I don't need any kind of roughness. Let's drag and drop this. Uh, albedo map or here so this is the base color let's connect this to the base color so that is the map I need to uh, connect it over here so let's see that how how does it look over here let's bring this down again so it has just shifted over here uh, somewhere up using the naming conventions so here we have this so this is the ambient occlusion you need to drag and drop this also over here let's connect that to this ambient occlusion uh, map right so we here we can just see that so if I just bring this down so here we have this ambient occlusion we need to connect this ambient occlusion map to AO map okay so uh, whatever the normal map is there uh, we can just use this normal map again so let's use this normal map bring this down and connect this normal map to this normal okay so whatever the maps we have uh, we will just using that map uh, to connect it over there okay so now we can just see that we can see some kind of depth information as soon as I add this normal map so this is what this will do if I hold alt and click uh, there is no depth information uh, and if I just connect this to this now we can see that that is what the depth information which we have it over here uh, which you can use it uh, for that suppose if I just use this height map also click on this height map and if I just connect this to the tangent world so it prepares that shader again and it will give a little bit of more uh, height information for that so if you just can disconnect and let's connect this to this so connect this to over here okay so we can make the use of this different maps over here and for the roughness uh, what I want to do is I just want to add some kind of constant for the roughness so uh, go to the roughness value click it constant and I, I don't want any kind of shyness for this uh, material so what will happen is the roughness I want to make it now you can see that it is having more uh, wet kind of feel 
for this material so we don't want that let's make it around 1 or 0.9 also so I don't want this uh, so this so sometimes if you will also get this roughness map inside this uh, texture so you, you can just directly apply that and we have this texture so let's see this how it looks uh, inside my scene uh, since I'm just using the texture I also use I need to use some kind of texture coordinates also to repeat the texture so let's apply and check that to the scene so once we uh, see uh, into the scene we will come to know how it is actually uh, looking inside the scene whether it is stretched or whether it is not stretched uh, whether the tiling is fine or not uh, let's save this again and close that and here it is so it looks too big uh, so that is what we need to adjust this texture coordinates uh, for this now what it is doing it is taking that one image and trying to place it to this whole uh, big scene uh, we don't want that to happen so for this the same reason what we will be doing it right now or here is we need to repeat the texture uh, now to repeat the texture double click double click over here and we need to add a texture coordinate so right click type texture coordinate and with this texture coordinate again what I will do is instead of uh, using this I uh, will just use the multiply node right so first you create a constant this is what the constant is and just give some value for that so 0.1 like or make it 1 so I can just see that the what is over here so if I just uh, add a multiply node now multiply click on this a will be connected to this B will be connected to this and this is over here so now we have this nodes over here we have just connected this now you need to increase the repetition for that so I can just give the repetition over here let's make it 20 so inside this node I'll just increase the value of 20 uh, over here okay so what is happening is it is going to repeat that texture uh, 20 times so apply save it and now we can just check that over here so save it and close this and again close this and we have this so it is repeating uh, too many times but what is happening over here you can just see that uh, it is not looking like only the color only the color is repeating right and it is not repeating this uh, occlusion map neither it is having the repetition inside this you can see the texture looks odd over here so that is happening because we are not connected that texture node to the normal map or other map so we need to make sure that we do that so once I go over here so you can just see that what is happening so the repetition is happening only for base color so but what we want to do is we want to repeat the same texture for the normal also uh, so I'll just use this UV from here and connect it to this so what will happen is it is going to do the same process of repeating the texture for the normal map also again you need to use this uh, tangent height again go over here connect to this again from this ambient occlusion also you need to make sure that you connect from here and connect to this so this is what we have this whole node like this so you can just see this this is what we get it over here okay so we are connecting everything so uh, all these nodes are uh, going to repeat it because we want the repetition for diffuse we want the repetition for normal maps since we are applying four maps we need to give the repetition for all these maps apply it okay so once I apply I just want to close save close and now you see that you uh, you you are done with that so you don't have the problem with that what we are facing before that was because of this uh, coordinates uh, texture coordinates so what we got this now so we we feel that if you feel that it is fine uh, you can keep it let's play, play and check that scene uh, how it looks now yeah so you can just see the texture uh, also it's fine so so if you want to add something uh, more uh, we can just add something more for this textures 
so this is how we can just create uh, any kind of material over here and uh, now if i just go for that particular material double click and you want to create that parameters for that uh, we can still create that parameters for that uh, over here so anytime uh, you just double click again on this and you want some kind of parameter for this uv tiling right so we have this uh, you want to make it as uv, UV tiling so right click convert to parameter name it as uv u v t i l i n g so i just uh, name this parameters as a uv tiling and what will happen is it is going to repeat uh, that same thing uh, again and again so let's save this apply and save this parameter just close this down so we can just see that whether the parameters is updated or not so here we have the parameter called uv tiling so if i click on that now i can directly uh, change the settings over here and check it so if you feel that uh, this is uh, too much or less so i can reduce it and i can see it in real time how the texture is uh, tiling over here okay so that is the advantage of this uh, uh, create parameters so i don't have to go again to that place and uh, i need to create again uh, type the values over here so if you create as a parameter you can always adjust this and we can just see that how uh, it works over here so if i want it around 30 35 and just save that so it is much easy close it and it will apply that 35 uh, tiling for this uh, surface now okay so this is what it will be doing it over here so we can just see that uh, now if you just want to bring some kind of uh, foliage or something some kind of trees or something uh, we can also get from mega scan so you can just see it over here so you want some kind of trees uh, from this so go to this pixel bridge and let's bring some kind of trees or something to make this scene uh, look much better i'll just add some stones as well inside this So click on this pixel bridge and let's load some kind of uh, trees uh, or plants uh, inside the scene. It looks too empty. So we need to choose that. Okay, so it comes over here. Okay, so we have this. Uh, let's add some kind of uh, trees if you want to add it inside this so use that trees for this this i want some kind of plants inside this just double click on this so we have some plants over here or this kind of bushes which we have this so you can use any of this uh, thing or just download and add to our project click on this downloading So here you can find what all the trees if you want to add you can just add some kind of trees uh, flowers or grass you want to add so uh, i'll be just saving that before adding it because it might crash so keep saving your level uh, as soon as you add something to it from the quick cell so what all the other things you need to uh, check it you can just start checking it over here so this one let's get that as well right this also looks nice so okay so let's download everything Yeah, so it is done. Let's add this to the project. So it's added. Okay, so once it's added to the project, we can just see that it is over here. So we can always use this. So before using that, I just want to save all. So everything will be saved. So whatever I have done till now. 
and let's use this static mesh over here so where you want to place that into the scene just want to fill the uh, scene over here with all this static mesh so any other thing which we have it uh, over here you want to add it and check it you can just start adding it uh, to the scene so you can just have different variations of the plants and hold alt and drag it start placing all this in a different uh, scene over here let's fix it save the project control s save all then you have this nice scene over here so uh, if you can bring the tree also uh, let's bring some kind of bigger trees so these are like grass if you want to add or something which we have it over here so 3d plants let's go for a little bit of bigger trees so we have this garden let's add that so it's already downloaded and it is with us I just need to uh, add to the project uh, so here we have this so here we can just say there is some kind of uh, tree uh, texture also so click on this drag and drop it over here okay so the scale of this if you want to adjust so you can also scale it bigger size if you want to scale it over here click on scaling it much bigger size okay so start adding more and more elements uh, uh, to the scene hold alt again let's fix it hold alt and we have different uh, types of trees so you can just start adding it more different trees over here so click it scale it much bigger size and let's have the scene over here just start fixing that all over the place and uh, just see that whether it is uh, properly placed over here so once it is done you can just start playing save it control s play this whole uh, scene now so this is what it is now okay so <laughs> yeah so you can just go through that now so we can just see that all this uh, tree elements are also there okay so that will make uh, the scene look much more filled uh, previously instead of using that uh, and we still need to add some kind of flowers uh, you want to add some kind of uh, environment some kind of uh, things stones over there uh, so just keep on adding so whatever you feel that it you can add to this particular scene uh, you can just start adding to this over here and if I just want to create some kind of water surface uh, in this particular place also uh, I can just also create the water surface also so that we'll see how we can just uh, create that so come out of this select any of this press F and we zoom into that scene again okay so hope you got this uh, material how to uh, create this material for the ground and all so we'll see in more in deep uh, uh, when we go for landscape how to create uh, different material for the landscape and the mountain so this is for the props or any kind of object you want to create quickly the material inside this you can just use any of this uh, way okay any doubt in this uh, if you have anyone any doubt in this no, no sir. sir no so is it clear how we can create the material and how we apply pbr material for that yeah yes okay. so you can get all this uh, pbr material in this place free pbr.com uh, or if you want to get the material from Quixel Megascan also there also you can just directly get the material but if you want to create your own uh, kind of material so you have all this yeah uh, most of the time we'll be creating the material inside substance uh, painter or substance uh, designer uh, so you can 
see that if you all don't want to go there and you want to create something from which is already yeah. available the pbr materials so you can use this okay so, yes yeah. yeah so anything you want to show now uh, so you can just showcase uh yeah. i'll stop presenting yes sir yeah. yeah i just created a simple scene sir uh are you able to see my screen sir yeah yeah nice uh, i think now you need to adjust the tiling of the texture uh, though yeah sir yeah. yeah so now it's looks nice fine uh, where is the gun it's there sir <laughs> on top of the statue <laughs> okay so you go there and you collect that gun yeah from there okay you want to go through stairs and and i will pick up pen okay put it sir so uh, the basic step okay so anything uh, you want to shoot that particular thing uh, have you made anything for shooting that object uh, for those things i need to create uh, okay. uh, I need some objects sir inside okay. this okay so that you need to give that uh, dynamic collision on so then you will be able to uh, make that uh, object move okay sir yeah it's nice uh, till here it is nice uh, yeah. i think now you'll uh, you can understand the tiling of this so the tiling of this uh, uh, bricks no whatever the stones are i think it is too big or something yes. has happened to that yes so sir so that we can uh, adjust using the tiling now okay yeah sure sir sure. yeah so it's good nice thank you sir yeah that's it sir for my Uh, Aditya. Uh, uh, currently, I don't have anything to show, sir. Uh, I'll once I do it, I'll present. Okay, sure. Aditya. Aditya is on. Okay. Uh, Hi, sir. One second. Hi, Aditya. Have you done anything? Yeah, I have done a small thing. Yeah. But material and all, I have not. Uh, I mean, linked yet. Okay. uh just share me because one second you yeah yeah i'm audible right Okay. Yeah, is it visible? Uh, not yet. I think it's not shared. One second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now it is it's coming. This is a simple thing I have done, right? Okay. Uh, thing is uh, i was adjusting the gravity of this okay here but it is falling at the same uh, whatever gravity i am adjusting over here it is uh, uh, coming down at the same speed so that's what i was just checking it out okay uh, uh, what is the mass of that particular object is uh... weight of that object Uh, what is that? Uh, which is the object you are adjusting the gravity for that box, small box over there? Yeah, for this one. I have changed the weight of that. Okay, physics uh, inside physics. Uh, open it. Open that. Uh, nothing is there for that. I think which is there is some different object is selected. Uh, that is cloud. Okay. Yeah. Now go to physics. Yeah, how change this one? Uh, physics. Initially, go to the physics. Okay. Uh, so here uh, you have given that uh, collision uh, attribute. Simulate physics is on. Okay. So yeah. What is the value you want to give for the weight for that? Initially it was around fifty. Still it was uh, falling at the same speed. Okay. 
If I keep it 50, it is it's falling at the same speed. No, now it has reduced. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it is lighter, no? So, uh, lighter the weight, it will fall slowly. Okay. So, I should give a very high uh, amount of... Uh... So, if you want to make it more fast, uh, the uh, amount will be more fast. Okay. Then, I think that was a simulation uh, problem, I think. Yeah, maybe it is lagging. I think so. The screen. Yeah, it's no lagging. idea. Lagging. It's lagging. Yeah, but the things what I have done uh, for that is correct, right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Other things are fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you 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 can create more of the scene. So you can also uh, bring some kind of character inside this, and you can make some kind of shooter kind of uh, experience. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. I'll do that the next one. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, BSP geometry, you have any uh, doubt uh, how to create, uh, how to subtract and all? Uh, you are using the uh, BSP yeah. brushes, right? You mean to say, I mean, like I have taken uh, existing, uh, I mean, uh, whatever project I have was doing in the same one, I have uh, imported all this and I have done the uh, changes. Okay, uh, so there is option for BSP brushes. Uh, one class I showed, no, how we can subtract uh, from the building, how we can add it. Yeah, that I have not yet uh, practiced yet. Okay. I will just do it. Okay. okay, okay. So that we can use it for blocking, and then you can just try and let me know. Okay, nice. Uh, uh, Manjula, anything you have done? Uh, anything you have practiced? Manjula is not here. Uh, okay, guys. So uh, see you tomorrow. So tomorrow we'll be going with different topics. So work on the material also, and let me know if you have any kind of doubts inside that. Sure, sir. Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. We'll do that. See you tomorrow. See you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.